I'm Chet. And I'm Kelsey. And, and we, we are, are two in the bush. bush. Should we like introduce ourselves? Is that I don't know if I that... even want people knowing my name. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mark. This is and oh, my name is I'm Renee. A, do I look like a Mark? <laughs> Mark and Renee sound like Do you me. want to look like your name? Do you want people to be like, hey, I think that's the guy from I don't two know. In the bush. I hope I don't look like a Chet, but <laughs> <laughs> Well now everybody knows your name. I'm gonna uh, bring something up that maybe I should have opened the show with. <laughs> Perfect. And it has a lot to do with um, health, mm -hmm. hygiene. Mm -hmm. How would they describe it in the personal hygiene? Um, oh dear. As they say. So, wait. Um, what? Question. <laughs> Is this what you told your girlfriend you were going to talk about and she said it was not funny? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. So, uh, <clears throat> I've been having a lot of crotch pains lately. <laughs> And uh, I know this is something, like, generally you, people don't think men talk about this, but I will say when I'm hanging out with my guy friends, we, we do talk about our crotches quite Good. a bit. And not like, you know... Not in a gay way. Not in a gay... No, no, it could be in a gay way. I don't have a problem <laughs> with that. But not like dick measuring. It's I mean, we're talking about health here. This is and from, yeah. tips and uh, advice <laughs> and he different things. Tips. You know, ba yeah, tips. Um <laughs> Stuff like that. Much how any other uh, sex would talk about their, you know, yeah. personal hygiene with friends or whatever. Anyways, I've been having some issues and I just... It, <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to share that. I just want to share them because uh, I went for... Uh, let me all set this up with... Um, I went for a jog. It was like the most painful jog I've ever had in my life. And there was like so much going on with me. <laughs> I immediately was like, why did I do this? But then I was like, I want to jog, I want to jog. So mm -hmm. I'm going to just grit through it like most people do when they're in pain. Right. Um, first, let me bring up the first medical <laughs> element that I was suffering from, which um, apparently a lot of people um, suffer from this. They just don't talk about it because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't like to talk about butt holes. Ooh, yeah. But um, it's called an anal fissure. <laughs> Have you ever had this? I don't know. Please describe it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Have you ever had any sort of butthole pain um, that you can recall? I mean... You would remember this. I, f I feel like I've, like, had, like, you know, poop issues. <laughs> large ones that created temporary pain. I've also had large ones <laughs> that created temporary pain. But it passed within a few minutes. So I don't think I've had what you're okay. talking about. Well... <laughs> Something like 90, something like, I'm making up stats. 90% of people suffer from anal Nine out of 10 people fissions. in a room have an anal fissure. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night. Okay. It's something like that. It's highly common. It's <laughs> highly, it can happen very easily. It's nothing amazing. But what it is, and you can get it through different ways, but one of it is constipation and like giant shits. Oh, you can, you, it's just a little tear in your anus. A fissure, if a little, you will. A fissure. <laughs> fissure. Just a little tear, like a paper cut, mm -hmm. I guess. And it is just the most excruciating thing. It's like, literally, it is like a paper cut in your anus, or like a needle, someone poking a hot needle oh. in that spot over and over oh, again. Oh, no. The only thing that really seems to relieve the pain is um, when you're pooping. Really? Because all your muscles contract, so it like squeezes it shut. Huh. It, nothing okay. can hurt it. Um, also, you have this like <laughs> urge just to constantly be <laughs> like massaging <laughs> and itching your asshole because that does provide some sort of relief as well. <laughs> as well. As well. As <laughs> well. Um, so <laughs> it's a very like I don't want to say it's just an annoying pain in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it. They just heal on their own. Mm -hmm. um, you go to a, I went to a doctor when I had it, and they're just like, he's just like, he looked at my asshole, and he's like, that's an anal fissure. <laughs> I'm like, well, okay. That sounds And awful. he's like, uh, it will just heal up. I'm like, but it hurts. He's like, well, yeah. And, he's, <laughs> and I'm like, there's nothing. He's like, I, 
you can rub this cream on it. It doesn't like do anything. I'm like, well, that doesn't sound fun. And he's just like, yeah, he's gonna do it. He's like nine out of ten people. <laughs> He gave me some number. He's like, he's like, it's common. It's probably like three out of ten. He's like, people don't like to talk about their buttholes, and they don't say anything about it. I love talking about my buttholes. Well, yeah, so I'm talking. That's so why I'm bringing it up. <laughs> he's like, a lot of people have them. Don't worry about it. It will heal up. Give it about ten days. It'll be gone. He's like, try to get more fiber. Don't get constant. Don't try to squeeze out oh, stuff. No. If it's not coming, stop trying. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, but it's painful to sit. It's not, like when I say painful, I mean it just feels like someone's sticking a hot <laughs> pin into the side of your ass. It's an annoyance. It's not fun. But anyways, um, so I had that. Um, ailment number two. Ailment number two, which both of these are kind of self-inflicted. <laughs> so, um... And I don't care what anyone does with themselves. It's like personal choice. I'm really like not into like hair <laughs> down there. For me, speaking about me personally, I just prefer the aesthetic of a well-shaved man. <laughs> so I was doing my normal grooming. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, I hadn't done it in a while. So that's why I was like, wow, I better take care of this. Yeah. It's getting very like foresty jungle. <laughs> activity going on down there <laughs> two in the bush yes the bush the bush was getting it was getting uh unruly unruly bush so i was like i should take care of this so i got the old clippers out and uh, i was taking that out <laughs> and um you know you gotta, you gotta, you gotta maneuver stuff around there. You know, to get the angles yeah. and get under there, right? And um, so I was doing some some stuff, and I went to release, uh, you know, my appendage because I was holding it up, you know, to get a good uh, under right. under shave. Under I guess. shave, yeah. And um, so I, had, you know, I disengaged the uh, the clippers, <laughs> the device, but it, they were still running. But I just pulled them out, yeah. disengaged, and I let go of the appendage, but I had not calculated the, the distance. Oh, no. So you I, underestimated yeah, the appendage. Yes. <laughs> a lot of people do. <laughs> but they shouldn't because of this. And so I disengage the... Uh, I let go of the appendage and it slams into the... Uh, slams the running, is dramatic. Well, sl well <laughs> I don't think it's dramatic at all. It falls into <laughs> the running clippers, and I mean I have fast reflexes, <laughs> so nothing, nothing, nothing horrendous was happened here or anything. But and there, that is how my co-host got circumcised. But no, but there was a little blood. Again, I'll use it again. This I've used. I recently I said paper cut. Again, paper cut number two. Onto the. Uh, the the uh, mushroom part of the oh my God. So um, I got that, and I'm like, uh, you know, I was like, ow! I was like, why did I do that? That was stupid. You gotta be, you gotta be very, you gotta be very, you gotta be careful when you're doing this. You can't just be letting stuff go and not knowing where the sharp stuff is. So I, that was self inflicted. So now I'm not really in the mood to keep buzzing this thing. Right. So I kind of leave, kind of a. <laughs> Well, there's kind of a like a five o'clock shadow thing going on, um, and then like I got this this thing on my appendage and it's bleeding. I was like, it's not stopping. I'm like, do I put a band aid on that? It's gonna be uncomfortable. <laughs> so I'm like, like, wait for that to like dry up, scab over, or whatever. <laughs> so it scabs over. So I got a scab on my oh, appendage. No. I got a paper cut in my asshole. Oh no! And I got like this stubble. <laughs> Oh, going no. on all around here <laughs> and then like later on that night i'm like hanging out i'm like well man time to go for my nightly jog and that's an exaggeration I'm, like jog once a week <laughs> <laughs> my nightly jog going for my nightly jog my first jog in two years and i'm not even like i put everything that happened to me in the past <laughs> forget all as all, one should forgot all about my the appendage incident <laughs> five o'clock shadow, shadow down there 
the, the fissures not really bothering me right now. I decided to go for this jog. And I start out, you know, I'm not one of those people that, you know, I go out the door and I start jogging. I like to take, I like to work into it, so I just walk. Everything feels fine. Yeah. Time to take that jog. I start jogging and, you know, stuff. Uh, first off, you know, you're, you find out when you have an anal fissure that your asshole is really like the center of your being. Like any movement you make really resounds from that point. So first I'm feeling that, like being like rubbed on, like that's, that kind of hurts. That's not cool. Yeah. I wish there was something, some, you know, it'd be cool if there's some other greater pain to block that out, so I wouldn't concentrate on that. That'd be cool. Yeah. So, I'm starting to jog. I haven't worked up a sweat or anything, so now I'm feeling this, like, <laughs> five o'clock shadows <laughs> double chafing against everything. And then also, my scab on my appendage starts, like, rubbing oh. against my, uh... Uh, whatever briefs briefs <laughs> so i have all this going on at the same time and i'm like i'm just gonna fight through it it'll be all right just make you a man uh so i do it but then it becomes unbearable but now i'm like five miles away from my apartment i'm like now i gotta walk back i'm like should i call an uber uh, <laughs> or a taxi to get a ride home so i'm just like in pain like trying not to like grab my ass and my crotch, like, walking down the street, like, people are passing, you know, yeah, you like... you can't just be touching yourself. You no, know, I'm trying not to touch myself, I see a lady, I try to tip my hat, <laughs> try to be friendly, um, but yeah, a lot of crotch pain. <laughs> a lot of... Going on. Private um, area pain. Yeah, private area pain, that's a private area. Um, but that also, now I'm going to rewind this to another story about my privates. Oh, perfect. Because there's nothing a man loves to talk about more than his, his privates. privates. Not really. Um, <laughs> not in this regard. But no, what I want to illustrate is the trauma that a man's <laughs> privates go through. That doesn't really get illustrated, or I don't think people talk about it enough. No. Those things get abused. Our feminist culture is really suppressing masculinity. Well, well I don't think it's um, well, toxic. Toxic ma masculinity. Mm. I'm not being toxic. I'm being open. Right. And I'm just uh, bringing some light to trauma that happens to uh, men's crotches. And it in no way and at all probably compares to the trauma that happens to a female crotch. That's big of you. I'm sure it's much worse. It's worse. Giant living things come out of those. <laughs> On occasion. On occasion. <laughs> and painful. But anyway, you know. So, uh. Oh, yeah, taking the story back to another... Uh, trauma. Trauma to the crotch. <laughs> One time, and this was in high school, I um, had a bunch of friends coming over. Mm. Like, we're going to have a big party or whatever. So, like, big. I mean, like, maybe 12 or 13 people wow. coming over. And I get up, I uh, take my shower. I'm showering myself. And... Uh, <laughs> oh. Is that and, what you do in the shower? But <laughs> Oh. I'm in the shower. I'm showering myself. Is yes. that how showers work? Yes. I, I do a running commentary. It's never really <laughs> annoying, like, sarcastic, like, oh, you're showering yourself. How cool. Um, so I'm uh, soaping myself down. And, you know, I hit that, uh, hit, I hit that crotch area. And a normal man has, th has two testicles. <laughs> what? What normally, normally, no, I'm saying a normal man has, has two testicles. Yeah. When I was washing, I washed myself, somehow I had three. <laughs> That's how it felt, anyways. And I immediately, like, freaked out, because I was like... The rest of your life, you'd always had two. Yes, yeah, so I was like, where, overnight, where did this third <laughs> testicle come from? This is shocking. I'm shocked. I'm appalled. <laughs> a lot of things are racing through my mind in this nanosecond that this happens. Yeah. So... I jump out of the shower. <laughs> I'm looking at this thing, and um, this is happening in like split second. So this right. is what's going through my mind immediately. I look, and there's literally like a third testicle there. I'm like, oh my god, where did this come from? Okay, that's within a nanosecond. So if you give me like two seconds, I start to put together right. what's happening here. Let me rewind. The day before. <laughs> Me and some friends had been out uh, 
mushroom hunting. This is something people in the Midwest do. You hunt for mushrooms. I'm familiar. They're called morels. Morels. They're delicious. Yes. They're delicious little morsels that you can fry up and eat. <laughs> you hunt for them. Um, so I, we had been hunt out in the woods hunting for those. Mm -hmm. When you are in the woods, when you come in <laughs> from the woods or out of the woods, you should always check your body for ticks. Oh my god. Um, because... They're not good. I don't know. They're not, they can give you Lyme they disease. They might be there. They may be there <laughs> sucking blood off of your body. So um, now we can fast forward back to this third testicle. What this is is a tick that lodged itself, lodged itself onto my uh, testicles. How did it get in there? Well, it's not inside my testicle. It's on the <laughs> no, no, no. But like most ticks are like in your hair or on your oh, head. Oh, I don't know. Crawling up my leg and it's Jeez. like good spot. Jeez. Which it was because this thing... Had been gorging on so much blood that it was like the size of a, a testicle. testicle. It was like about to explode. Like oh this, my God. it had probably killed itself. I don't know anything about ticks. Like someone could educate me on ticks. Like Gluttony. how much blood? And it may have been dead. It may have been like sucked so much blood and then <laughs> expired. And it was, but it was. I mean, literally, it was not the size. I don't know. <laughs> not this. <laughs> like three fourths of a testicle, <laughs> but it was, <laughs> and I looked, at, and it was like turned like flesh. I don't know what color they usually are, but it was like a fleshy type brownish, mm. pinkish color, and mm -hmm. it's full of blood. But it looked when at first glance, well, first <laughs> fill and then look, it looked like a third testicle. <laughs> but I looked down, and I'm like third. Oh my god! First, I'm like, what is that third testicle? I'm a cancer. I'm like cancer grow overnight. <laughs> Look down, I'm like, what is that? <laughs> Wait, and then three seconds in, I'm like, tick. Four seconds in without thinking. I'm like, rip. Rip. Oh, no. <laughs> now, I had grabbed it strong enough, because I knew enough about ticks, <laughs> that, you know, you don't want to leave the, you can leave the, the, head. the head in there. So I grabbed it, you know, I did a good, got a good grip on there <laughs> and made sure I ripped the head. But this thing, <laughs> I ripped it out. And it's little, and the, the tick... Had a big, my big chunk, I mean, like a chunk of flesh oh, in its mouth. Because I ripped, yeah, I know, I ripped oh, the no. whole thing out, luckily, yeah. the whole head. Yes. But I had this chunk of my <laughs> testicle, not testicle, my uh, sack flesh <laughs> in its mouth. And I, like, throw the thing down. And now, and I'm like, oh, my God, okay, I got the, everything's out. I got the head. I don't have to, now, cre I, like, freaked out. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> and now I look down. And there's blood oh, no. gushing, running out of my leg. I was like, well, you did quite the chunk. <laughs> <laughs> that tick did have quite the chunk in its mouth. <laughs> and, um, oh, also I want to add, I throw the tick down, and in my panic, I'm like, that thing's still alive, it's a monster. So I but stomp it. Stop, stop it. And blood shoots out. Because no. it's like I said, it's engorged. It's three-fourths of a testicle. Yes. Um, so I do that. There's, so there's blood all over my foot on the floor. It's crazy. And now I'm looking down. There's blood running out. Now, I'm not thinking rationally because I've had a tick on my dick. You had a third um, testicle yes. for a second. So now there's I'm not thinking very around. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to bleed to death. <laughs> I'm like, and then, so then I, now I'm about 10 seconds and I'm like, okay. You're not going to bleed to death. <laughs> that is a lot of blood. That though. took 10 seconds. Yeah. Okay. Well, because I think at five, I believe. Oh, we'll... 10 seconds total. Yeah. I thought you meant 10 seconds, like, after. No, no, no. 10 seconds, it. we're still in the same. Right on. <laughs> so I think it took me to about four seconds to rip the tick off. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it took a couple more seconds to squash the tick, realize there's blood. Um, I caught it. Yeah, so then, uh, yeah, now I'm bleeding. And this is, like, it's a pretty, you know, it's like. A pretty good chunk. I don't. You know, I didn't have to go get stitches, or it wasn't you know uh, anything like that. But it crossed my mind. I said, like, "Do I need to get stitches for this?" <laughs> I'm like, how do I go to? How do I go to a doctor? Do I put a band aid on? Well, this? I did, and I don't want to <laughs> describe the mechanics of <laughs> putting a band aid on that particular piece of skin. <laughs> but it is like very difficult. Oh my! Gosh. It doesn't want to stick. It that skin. It's very, it moves a lot. It is, the whole thing, it's designed to carry, it's a satchel type. <laughs> a satchel. It's a device. My that, ball satchel. Yes, my ball satchel. <laughs> and so, it's not really built 
pill for a, a bandage. Right. Um, but I did it. I pulled it off. And uh, anyway, I had a party with hand aid <laughs> on that. Um, what? Yeah, well, I threw a party in, and I had to suffer through the party with Band-Aid on there. Mm. Of course, I told everyone the story, and <laughs> of course. I believe they loved it. I don't know. Um, I wish, in my in hindsight, I was like, I wish I would have saved the tick and would have squashed it. Yeah, that would have been awesome. This shit. <laughs> Look at my third test. Like, if I, if I wasn't an old man and I would have lived in the time of Snapchat or... <laughs> Twitter, I would have a sweet. <laughs> this thing was on my dick. I threw four cell <laughs> But, uh. Hashtag tick dick. Tick dick. <laughs> that's actually what I typed. That's <laughs> actually what I know. It says Fisher slash shave chase. Shave chave slash tick dick. <laughs> um, I feel so close to you right yes. now. Well, I, I, a lot of people have heard the story. <laughs> But I have not. Yes, you until have. Today. So you've been you've been let in on that uh, story. Wow. Um. So. <laughs> I have got nothing to follow you this never, up you with. Never had. <laughs> I have never had a third testicle or a second or even first. In fact. Wow. None of um, them comprised of ticks. I did have a tick once, but it was like behind my ear. Oh. It was a pretty tame experience. Wow. Man, uh, when Trump becomes president and. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I mean I'm gonna let's, I'm gonna put it all on, out on Front He's Street just right here. Calling it, and I know I'm gonna like this is gonna upset some people. Really yeah. full of shit. Yeah, Hillary Trump is like Hillary Trump. <laughs> <laughs>